Yeah, don't come up to Northampton, but yeah, Hertfordshire, Essex, like some there's some places just outside South East London, like Erith, Dartford. Actually, no, you know, them areas, people will say they're like a shithole and that, but me, I'm from Edmonton, I don't really care in it. Yeah, like as long as there ain't stabbings and shootings outside the front of my house, I don't care where I live. I'm not I'm not an area snob. Like, there's certain people, right, they're proper, like, area snobs. Like, you'll mention an area to them, and they're like, oh, like, how can you live there or something like that? Or I would never want to live in that area. Like, I know girls, yeah? Like, I know one girl from Chingford. Chingford, to me, yeah? Chingford is a posh area, bro. Yeah? Like, I know they've got a gang in Chingford, but every area has its, its, its rough parts or whatever. But to me... Chingford is a posh area, isn't it? Yeah? Like, it's, it's a safe environment. Yeah? I know a girl from Chingford, and she was talking about, yeah, if I was going to move, I'd move to Loughton or Bucker still. Why do you need to move to Loughton or Bucker still? You're 10 minutes away from there. This, there's people out here, they just want to live in the area to say they live in that area. Yeah? They, there's some people, they feel low because they don't live in a high class, middle class area or whatever. Isn't it? Now, to me, Chingford is middle class. Yeah. But there's some people, right? Like they feel embarrassed about where they live or what area they come from. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, there's some people like they just want to move to certain areas just to fit in with the people that they they work with or hang around with or whatever. Like there's certain people, right? Like they might even mask and lie about what area they really live in. So there's certain people like they hang around with a lot of people from Chelsea and that. I'm really intrigued they live in Fulham, which is right next to Chelsea, and they will lie and say, yeah, I live in Fulham. And I live in Chelsea. I'm really intrigued they live in Fulham. There's people, they lie about bullshit. Oh, I live in North Chingford. No, you don't. Yeah, you live fucking Chingford Mount. Yeah, like there's people out there who try and gas up where they live or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, to try and fit in with other people. Oh, I live in um, Epping Forest. I live in Loughton. No, 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 you live in Epping Forest, man. Huh? Yeah, let's not, yeah. Do you know what, fam? I, I, one time, yeah, I was driving through Epic and um, Buckhurst Hill, yeah, and I saw some some road use, you know, like I swear in Buckhurst Hill, there's rough parts at like the back or something like that. So, so not on the high street that takes you from, so not on the high road or the main road that takes you from Woodford to Lauer, not on that road, but like there's some like back, I don't know, back of Buckhurst Hill, which looks kind of like rough, and I'm I'm seeing like like. Road looking people, whatever in it, but is Bucker still um Redbridge? Does it come under the Redbridge borough? Because I think that's probably why it might have some rough parts still. Do you know what? But having saying that, like, yeah, so obviously back to what I was saying about there's some people like they want to live in certain areas just for the sake of living in certain areas, isn't it? Yeah. But Bucker still and Lowen and that are nice areas though. But for me, like I don't really give a fuck what area I live in, man. Yeah. As long as, as long as the area is a safe environment, why does it matter where you fucking live, man? Right. Obviously, if you, you live in an area where it's anti-social people, whatever. It's not dangerous people, but anti-social people, whatever, in it. Yeah. Then yeah, you might want to move in it, but I'm not. It's not about. It's not about the name of the area. It's all about the location for me. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the name of the area that I live in. Now, if I lived in Tottenham, if I came from Tottenham, I would not be embarrassed about where I come from. Like, I made that video before to one about sell out black people. There's certain black people, right? They come from the ends. They come from the hood, yeah? And they buy a property outside of the ends. So you might have, like, let's say, like, those are David, yeah? You're from Wolverhampton, innit? You might know some Wolverhampton people that you grew up with, innit? They will end up buying a, a property like, like near somewhere like Basildon. Like, let me let me let me give you an example of an area like that's near Basildon. All right, oh, okay, all right, boom. I'll give you an example. Yeah, there's certain there's certain people. Yeah, they will move to an area like. So let's say for example, we're talking about East London people now, or even South East London people. Yeah. You got certain people, right? They'll be from the ends. Yeah, they might be from, let's say, like Lewisham or or Wolverhampton. Yeah? 
they will move to some area like um, South Ockenden, which is near Romford, yeah. But no one really knows about South Ockenden, yeah. Or no one really knows, I don't want to say Tilbury because people know Tilbury as like being a shithole or whatever, innit, yeah. But no one knows, certain people from like East London and that won't know about somewhere like Erith, yeah. So you got Erith and you got um, South Ock Ockenden, right? Both of those areas are just like, like, like them Dagenham type of areas, innit, yeah. What they'll do is they'll buy a property in those areas, come back to the ends and try all toffee nose and yeah, I'll put my own property. Yeah, I, I live in a semi-detached house or, or I live in a terraced house and it's such a quiet, nice little road and there's no trouble, whatever. Yeah. They all come from those areas. They will move to those areas and come back to the ends and act like they're better than the ends. They'll act like they're better than they're better than the environment they come from, innit? Yeah. When really and truly they don't. The thing is, right, they're able to fool the people from the ends because the people from the ends don't know about places like South Ockenden or like um, Erith. Over in it. They don't realise that those places are just the slums. It's just those places that are undercover slums. They're not known for stabbings and shootings or nothing like that. So people that don't really know about those areas just think, oh, okay, well, they, they moved out. And if they say that the area is a nice area, oh, they must be living in a really nice area. Really and truly, Places like South Ockenden and fucking Erith, yeah? Especially Erith as well. Erith is on outside South East London, like near um, Dartford and outskirts of Thamesmead and them kind of places there. But them places there are shitholes, yeah? they like, just like Edmonton, innit? So yeah, I'll put my hand on and say, yeah, Edmonton's a shithole, but that's my shithole. I love Edmonton, innit? Yeah? Places like Erith, yeah, are like fucking Dagenham. You know, like you got a white girl, who's like 21 and she's on her third U, fourth U, yeah, on benefits. Erif is one of those kind of places, isn't it? You got black people from the hood that will move down to them areas there and come back and be like, yeah, yeah, I bought my own property in that pub, like, and, and try glorify where they live because they know no one's going down there to check, but they're just living in another slum outside of London. They're living in another slum outside of London. That's what it is. Yeah. Nah. There's people out here, man, like me, I, I, I could pull that stunt if I really wanted to. I ain't no fucking dickhead. I could stunt and pretend they're like, yeah, oh, oh, I live in this lovely house in Northampton. Oh, there's no stabbings and shootings, which there aren't, yeah, on this estate. Oh, yeah, I live in a lovely house. It's quiet. Everyone's nice. You know, there's no trouble, nothing like that. At like where, I, where I'm living is so nice and that. But you want to see where I fucking live. Yeah. It's not that bad, but. It's, it's just like, it's just like Edmonton. It's just a broke area. Yeah? It's just a broke area. Yeah? It's just, there's no trouble. It's not dangerous around it. That's it. Yeah? You got little fucking, they say, you know, the area that I live in is broke. A few years back, I was driving around. I see some little white girls playing on top of a broken down pickup truck. <laughs> That's where you know things are bad. Why, why are they little girls playing on top of a fucking pickup truck? Yeah? You got little kids jumping on fucking um, garages and taking off their tops, shouting and all that kind of foolishness. It's just that. I don't know. I feel like there are certain people in this world, they feel like they need to impress people. For some people, it's impressing people by the car that they drive. For some people, it's impressing people by the area that they live in. Yeah. They will feel like less of a person if, you know, they don't live in a certain area or whatever, innit? Me, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, um, yeah, Chigwell, if you don't know where this area is, Chigwell, you must have heard, heard of Chigwell, innit? Chigwell, the houses are, yeah, proper things, man. <laughs> the man said the foxes, you know, yeah, man. But yeah, people will move outside of London, move to, like, like, let's say, like, AY London, yeah, you're from Lewisham, yeah? You probably won't know, you probably will not know about places like Stevenage because you're from South East. You could get someone from your area that moves to somewhere like Stevenage and be like, oh, I live in Stevenage. Oh, it's, it's such a lovely area where I live. My property is nice that I bought. My property that I bought, my property that I bought, yeah, they have to stress the point, the property that I bought in Stevenage is lovely. Yeah? 
our neighbours are all cool. There's no stabbings and no shootings. Not like, oh, not like Catford or not like the ghetto of um, New Cross or Deptford. Oh, nothing like those places there. But Stephen is a fucking slump as well. Yeah. Fucking slump. Like even Quincy. You don't know, I'm sure you don't know who Quincy 82 is, isn't it? Yeah. I was saying this as well in one of the live streams. I made this um, in one of my videos. And he was saying, yeah, one of, I think his stepmom or someone moved to Harlow. Like, Harlow's another area as well. Like, Northern Liners, us North Londoners, we live near a place called Harlow, but none of us know about it. It's in Essex. Um, it's near one place called Chipping Ongar. Now, Ongar, that, that's quite a nice area, but Harlow, anyone who's from around Essex would rather be dead than live in fucking Harlow, yeah? There's certain people from areas like Edmonton and North London, they will move to somewhere like Harlow. And, oh, oh, it's a lovely area. It's so nice and stuff. There's no stabbings and no shootings. Not, not like, oh, Tottenham, yeah. And they yeah, you know about Quincy, yeah. They, they, they will move to those areas and pretend that where they live is all nice. But it's a fucking, it's just like Dagenham. Yeah, you tramps, yeah. It's just like Dagenham. It's just... Ran down, it's a broke area, just like Edmonton, but you remove all the stabbings and the shoot. It's the same bullshit. But there's people, they'll go out, quay out, sir. They'll go far away and pretend that where they're living is all that. It's not. It's not. It's not. Certain these people, they, they are like, their house where they live is so nice and that. They live on some fucking tight, narrow road. God forbid you get into a meeting situation where two cars are coming towards each other. You have to reverse right back down the fucking road and they want to act like their house is all nice and... It's bullshit, man. People lie about owning their own property as well. Come on, fam.